Math 31, welcome back to example six. It looks a little intimidating because it's a giant paragraph, but let's read through this, try and be on the listen for what are the variables, and do I have a complete ordered pair, ordered triple, order quad, whatever it is. So let's read through this, all right? Vanessa Jones has determined the number of children enrolled in her daycare center varies directly with the amount she spends on advertising per year, and inversely, with her weekly charge for each child. This year she spent $900 on advertising, charged $150 per child per week, and had 51 children enrolled. Next year, if she spends $1,000 on advertising and charges $170 per week, how many children should she expect to enroll? All right, so let's just start to write down what were our variables here. So the first thing I noticed was I heard number of children and I saw varied directly. So I'm gonna call N the number of children in this daycare, right? And I saw that here, because you can see the units, there's 51 children, right? And then it asks how many children. So that's definitely one of my variables that I have to be looking out for. And then I saw varies directly, right? There's that phrase, amount she spends on advertising. And I, I saw here, right, we had a $900 advertising budget and a $1,000 advertising budget. So I'm going to call A our advertising budget. That was also varying in this problem. In addition to the fact that I just, I saw it right after the phrase varies directly. I also saw varies inversely, right, another buzzword, and then her weekly charge for each child. So I will just call that C, because um, here she charged 150 per child per week, and here it was 170 per child per week. So we had here our, I'll just call it our weekly charge. for each child. So Vanessa in this, in this situation is just trying to manage out, well, how much do I want to spend to advertise? And then how much am I able to spend uh, or charge per, per kid per week, right? She's just trying to see like, well, if I up my advertising and I up my, how much I charge per week, how many kids can I expect to have enrolled, right? So she's just trying to do a little, a little, um, business planning here. So let's let's run through our four steps. The first thing to do, the first step would be to get a, an equation for my variation problem. So here we go. It says number of children varies directly with their advertising. So I would say n is equal to k times a, right? Because when you vary directly, you're going to use multiplication. But I also have this varies inversely. All right, so we've got weekly charge per child. So I'm going to divide out by C, right? And because I have more than two variables in play here, this is just another example of joint variation. I'm joining direct and inverse. Um, and nothing was squared here, so I don't really need to worry about that. All right, for step two, I need to substitute given values of the variable and find this K. Now, I have a complete ordered triple. I saw it here. I saw 900, I saw 150, and I saw 51. So I'm going to plug those numbers in to their appropriate variables. So n being 51 means I'm going to put 51 in for n. Um, this 150 is how much I, cho I charge per week, so I'm going to divide out by 150. And then my advertising budget in that order triple was 900. So let's go figure out what k is equal to. I actually I don't know what 900 divided by 150 is. Oh wait, I think I could. Yep, 6. All right, so we know that 6k is equal to 51. So that would tell me if I did 51 divided by 6, we are looking at 8.5. Or if you wanted to write it as a fraction, you could use 17 halves. I'll go with the decimal since it's just one decimal place. All right, so k is 8.5. Whenever you find your k value, plug it into that equation you found in step one. So I'm getting my specific variation equation. So n is equal to 8.5a divided by c. All right, 
And then the next thing I need to do is I need to substitute the remaining values of my variable and solve for the unknown quantity. And the unknown quantity this time is this n value, right? I have an advertising budget and a charge per week. So let's see what we have here. So n would be equal to 8.5, this times, times 1,000. And she's gonna divide that by 170. All right, so if we can figure out this number, then we'll be good. So we'll go 8.5 times 1,000. Oops, you can't see that. 8.5 times 1,000. I will divide by 170, and I'm gonna get 50. All right, and I want to think about what the units on this are. All right, so yes, my answer is 50, but 50 what, $50, 50 kids per week. Actually, this is just number of children. So my answer here is n is equal to 50 kids. All right, so Vanessa realizes that if she spends more on advertising, the number of kids she's gonna get is gonna go up. But if she charges more per kid, the number of kids she's gonna get is gonna go down, right? So advertising gives her more kids in her um, daycare and then charging more per kid will result in fewer kids in her daycare. That's why one is direct variation, one is inverse variation. And here, here's this, this formula, right? So she charges a thousand bucks and then she raises that cost from 150 to 170, she's gonna go with 50 kids. So she actually, she, with 50 kids, she can do as much as she was doing over here with 51 kids. All right, so with that, that's gonna round out section eight or 5.8 for us. So at this point, I hope we're more comfortable solving direct variation, right, inverse, and then combining them into joint variation. And this section actually wraps up chapter five, which is awesome. So we're done with polynomial and rational functions, and we're gonna be heading on into logarithmic and exponential functions. Thanks so much, gang. I'll see ya, bye.